What do I think about the Fermi paradox? Honestly, I don't think it's much of a paradox at all. For those of you who don't know, when we make mathematical estimates for how many intelligent species there should be out there in the universe, they're relatively high. Life, especially intelligent life, is not necessarily as rare as we think it is. So then, if our estimates for the amount of life in the universe are so high, why have we not gotten in contact with any yet? And to that, I say to you, the speed of light is a bitch. If you take, say, all the civilizations that the Drake equation ends up predicting, the Drake equation is one of the equations we use to predict intelligent life out in the universe, and spread it all among the observable universe, you still don't get a frequency that is high enough for any two civilizations to contact each other at sublight speed. Now, one of the things that the Fermi Paradox says is that even if we only traveled at sublight speed, you could travel across the Milky Way in millions of years. To which I say, entropy's also a bitch. There is likely no system sophisticated enough that can keep an entire species alive for millions of years in the vacuum of space. And even if there were, it is very unlikely that a civilization has kind of taken that leap of faith to just travel millions of years out into the nothingness to stumble upon us. Like, there's a presupposition that civilizations, even advanced civilizations, will find value in millions of years of sublight travel. Which there may just not be. And it may just not be feasible or pragmatic. So when you take into account the limits of physics, like the speed of light, and the distance and distribution of all the civilizations that we predict, then the Fermi Paradox isn't much of a paradox. There's probably intelligent life out there, and it's probably at a distance that will never allow us to communicate with it. Them's just the breaks. It's a much better explanation than some of the other proposed explanation, like, all the aliens hate us because we're violent or something. Look, we suck, but I'm not giving better odds to extraterrestrial civilizations for being nonviolent and peace-loving. They're gonna hate each other just as much as we do.